Landing arbors uh, are, caught, uh, are ballooning because of uh, excessive heat and uh, excessive pressure. The metavators in particular have a problem with the, the filters getting clogged and then the metavator runs a longer length of time and the, um, the temperatures are sometimes uh, set too high by the, the maintenance technicians. So if the temperature is too high and the, uh, the time is too long, that, that can cause the bending orbit to uh, slowly expand. And because of the heat, it can set in a, a wrinkled state, as it were. And it, if uh, the pressure just it gets too high to begin with, the uh, range that's supposed to be uh, maximum testing pressure was like four pounds. I've got a paper, a paper with that also. On our end, when it comes to manufacturing the bending rubbers, if the wall thickness is inconsistent and we have a thin spot, that's where it'll tend to balloon. Uh, we've got a tolerance right now. We're shooting for a 10% tolerance. Uh, that seems to be uh, a good median. Uh, right now, they are uh, QCing them to that specification. Um, if we have one that runs out of spec, uh, we want to get a sample from the customer if they have a particular one that blows out. We can confirm if it's uh, uh, out, uh, that much out of spec. The the print right now calls for a 10% tolerance. Uh, other issues are the the hardness of the material, uh, the uh, durometer. Uh, we had an uh, incident in the past where the material was a little bit harder and the harder materials are less likely to balloon but we want to keep them soft to keep them flexible it doesn't happen frequently when a but a technician can use a solvent on the bending rubber uh, if they uh, are washing them with uh, uh, like acetone or something of the sort that will absorb into the material uh, the viton itself and it can uh, weaken it although it's only temporary it uh, it does do that. So like if it's uh, an incident where the technician has wiped it down with acetone and they are testing it in the shop before it goes out to the uh, the facility, they can have a blowout there. Also, they can have the, the sink temperature very, very high. Uh, there's certain ranges that, uh, that they shouldn't go above. Uh, specifications uh, might have to look up to be exact, but uh, excessive heat will cause uh, the bedding rubber to be soft in their ca that case also. The, there's another case where the technician will use an undersized bending rubber or a thinner wall just because they like the feel of it and makes the scope angulate better. And uh, obviously when the wall is given a certain specification, when you stretch it, that stretching makes the wall thinner. And that case, it's just like the, the toy balloons. When you stretch the toy balloon, it blows up faster. Same, same thing with the bending rubber. You don't want to use an uh, undersized uh, bending rubber uh, on, a, uh, on a scope, especially if you happen to have a thin one. The technician likes the feel of it because the scope angulates very well, and so they uh, yeah. don't want to use that heavier bending rubber. So we've got to we've got to uh, fight the line on the tolerances there. They want it as thin as possible, but it's uh, counter to the uh, durability. The thicker wall is more durable, obviously.